and means a lot to me and my friends and my family, of course. My name is Scott. I'm from Smithtown, New York, located on the core of Long Island. And I'm 35 years old. There are some things I would like to share with you all about myself here today. I was diagnosed when I was five. I, um, I was put in a horrible school I didn't want to be in when I was six. People at the time told me I couldn't learn how to drive, live on my own, or even work heavy lifting jobs. Well, they were wrong. I've been driving since I was 17. I've been working heavy lifting jobs since then. I've been living in my own, in my own place since 2011. I study, I studied how to travel back and forth to, you know, to and from by public transportation. I studied my way around the city and, and I now treat it like my second home. I learned how to get public transportation mapped out and learned how to travel back and forth to and from boroughs of other places in the city. And I did it all on my own to face my fears and my challenges, um, to know and to, you know, to study what the city is like and what the people are like. Four months later, in the year 2012, after I got done playing hockey, I joined the Special Olympics, played four different sports, and became a gold medalist. I am a powerlifter, a softball player, a basketball player, and a swimmer. Before that, I learned how to walk on the ice at 12 months old, spent most of my life skating, and began hockey in 1996. I got a promotion at my job working at FedEx, and I love my job there. I now drive the Tuggers, and I love it. Overall, that I got, I work in the middle of the night from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm also a YouTuber. I am an advocate on YouTube for people with disabilities on or off the spectrum. As being on the spe or off, I should say, off the spectrum does not mean that you don't have a disability of some sort. And to give away some understanding and tips of what it's like to be diagnosed a disability to those who don't have disabilities. The name of my YouTube channel is The Autistic Explorer. So one more thing I just want to say to those who have disabilities of all sort, don't lose hope. Hope will always be there with you. Life is too short. Do what makes you happy and what is important to you. Just follow the star in your heart that your conscience provides and guides you within, as I will be there for you all too. Have as much courage, character, and a heart that's true as you can, even if it's a little. You're strong, you're tough, and you know what you want. That's it. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, every Hello everyone. So my name is Felix Guzman. I'm a poet, community organizer, and advocate. I am someone with a facial difference, so um, uh, there's rarely any representation in the media about that. So I was born with a condition called hemifacial microsomia, which is basically uh, this asymmetry um, and whatnot to my face. So um, I recently got diagnosed with um, being, well, on the, being on the spectrum at 39. So um, for a very long time, I was kind of lost in the mental health system because uh, it's easier to get a diagnosis of mental illness than it is to actually get a... Uh, uh, tested for autism and uh, other neurodivergence when you're younger and so um, I am here uh, to raise awareness on the lack of parity for um, 
you know, the overdiagnosing of mental illness and the underdiagnosing of autism and other neurodivergences for the um, black and brown community because, again, um, historically there is just very little access and also uh, the medical uh, industrial complex doesn't hold space in that regard uh, to provide adequate services. So um, I am someone who uh, is also um, a suicide survivor, so um, you can't talk about autism without actually acknowledging that six to seven uh, autistic persons that are autistic are six to seven times more likely to commit suicide. So, um, and that's even a higher number in the black and brown community. So I realize that's a very somber thing to talk about, but it's very important to note uh, because again, um, you know, with the, with the current um, trend to talk about mental illness, uh, in, the, in the city and all, all across the country and the world, there should be just as much uh, focus being put on uh, neurodivergence as well. So um, I, uh, I'm someone that is coming into themselves and their identity and also uh, establishing safety, personal and professional. So uh, my goal going forward is to surround myself with kind, genuine, compassionate individuals who just want to live in a world where they can be safe and be free to be themselves because uh, apparently kindness is a, is a sign of weakness for some people, and in New York City, you can't be overly kind. So, you know, I, I commend you all for showing up in this space to kind of own that um, own that quality about yourself, and also just to just to be uniquely you. So, I have a poem called um, "Brighter Burns My Light." So, it's just about kind of uh, it's an affirmation, but also speaking to like the divinity within oneself. You can also just it's not. Uh, it's just about uh, power, empowerment, self-empowerment, self-love, and just also kind of pushing through and pushing forward when uh, everything seems kind of like against you. So brighter burns my light so. Brighter burns my light so. Broken but not forgotten. Alive I am not a ghost of my past. Provided for as I need I. I who have nothing have as I asked. My yesterday is not a now an eternity a ways away from what used to be. I believe, I believe, I believe you loving and merciful. Blinds never are you with how you love me. Brighter burns my light so because of you. Because of you, brighter burns my light so. Trace your steps through the darkness. I endeavor so always. Troubled but not wanting to refuse another their peace. Away you sweep every tear before they stain the pillows of my cheeks. I, I who have nothing with the hell of old have made peace. Brighter burns my light so because of you, because of you, brighter burns my light so. What does it mean to be free? What does it mean to be free? Thank you so much, y'all.